Welcome everyone back. My name is Thank you from Digisots. In today's video, I bring you my very special version Rookie Rush video for the TCG format 1.0 that you can all rush your opponent. So let's get started with. But first, I have something to say. At the Saturday, we have a TC, uh, PBG tournament that I'm streaming. So if you want to see me on Twitch streaming and playtesting and talk to you, I'll link it down below that you can check it out and leave a follow. But we achieved 100 subscribers. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> um, so that we have right now a giveaway that I said in the last video. Um, the giveaway finished is on the Sunday. Then I make a video for the PBG tournament. And it's the finish. And then I can put out the winners and, uh, and um, show the new video for you. But how to enter the giveaway? First, you must be a su subscriber. Second, leave a like. Third, Comment your favorite Digimon card of the tw of the year 2020 down in the comment section below. I would like it and commentate you and automatically you are on the giveaway. We have for the first prize the promotion pack 00. zero. For the second place we have a War Raymond Red. And like I said, I'm a man with of a word. When you have one hit 100 subscribers, I put the third prize in. It's an Alt Art Metal Citroen. So we have three prizes for you. That you can win. So if you want miss content that I make, hit down the subscribe button for more awesome content from me. Leave a like and a comment. I will like that. I will comment it. I, I like all you commentating and I can talk to you and each other again. It makes so much fun. So let's get further ado. Why you should you play Rookie Rush? Okay, Rookie Rush is a really good deck. We saw that in the last video that the percentage of Rookie Rush go, goes up in the PBG tournament. That's the thing. Why? Why, why, why they play Rookie Rush, you think? Okay, the deck is really good because it swarms. Swarms uh, meaning it's like you can put down three, uh, three rookies for two and hit the opponent in the stack and make a lot of pressure. It's very cheap. The only pricey card is Hammer Spark in the deck that you, ha that you have to board from the structure deck for the blue, but the rest is really cheap. And the cheapest deck is green at the moment, but the second cheapest deck is, uh, is Rookie Rush. Um, you can play in different styles, in different ways. You can play a purple Rookie Rush, you can play a blue green Rookie Rush, you can only play a blue Rookie Rush, you can play a purple yellow Rookie Rush. You have so much variance that you can play that you can always change your deck list. Like if the meta changes and you say, okay, I play red because I can play Gaia Force in my deck, that's that's like, or playing blue like in the OCG, like they're nerfing um, Rookie Rush, but they always win there. Like the last tournament, also Rookie Rush won. And 1.5 set is getting a huge support like we have a card that says um, your rookies get jamming and they don't die like what the fuck yeah that's one thing um it's a tier one deck it costs about 30 50 dollars like here in germany you pay about 30 40 euros that you have the deck um it's really not priced uh, pricey so Now we come to strange and weaknesses about this deck. But first, why I'm showing you this deck. Yeah, First thought is Rookie Rush. Um, you think it's not good, but it's really good. It swarms your opponent. It makes so a lot of pressure. I lost so many times with this Rookie Rush in tournaments. Like, when I top 4 with my Omnimon, I lost in the finals. The last PBG tournament I played against 3. With Kelly Gromis, it's just a good card. But um, I lost to 1 and he topped. Um, I, make, uh, I showed his list on my last PBG tournament report as he was a really good player um, and Omni Blue really struggled but we talk about now we have strange and weaknesses the strange is you can play option cards like like you see um, Hammer Spark and Flower Can if you play a green blue version of that then you had eight security cards like Flower Can is really good because you can rest blocker when you hard play it um, and get rid of that and you can swing it to security and don't have any punishment when the opponents have a lot of blockers um, Hammer Spark is a really good card that you can play more rookies when the opponent gives you like the one one memory like if you're a rookie rush you can also play the one one strategy that you have no problems with that with that you have the Garbumon that you can draw a card and the Leomon like I playing. I like the Leomon a lot because you get memory back and getting not punished when you trade into something. I like to recognize that I maybe would like to play the Tai Tamer because you get 1000 um, DP more with your Digimon and your Leomon has 6k and the most of the blocker has 6k that you can trade into it. That's one thing I will test about it but I didn't test it. I, I saw it at the... Um, 
that one opponent played versus me and he played the tie and he said, oh my god, the rookie rush is really broken because only cost two. The red, I mean the red tie from the structure deck, I can show it later. And you can play, like you see, the mo monomon, you can play a blocker. Like, what the fuck, you can play a blocker in rookie rush? Yeah, you can play a blocker. <laughs> <laughs> when you play versus the mirror match, you have a blocker, you have an out, that you can get rookie rushed against you. Or maybe blue or purple doing the rookie rush. Maybe you can think about playing a Volcanic Dramon in your rookie rush and the Tide Tamer. That's some things I didn't test at the moment. The weaknesses about the deck is like when you're playing versus green, they have a lot of blockers. Like you see Cherrymon and Woodmon, they have two blockers. Or like I said, black, they have um, the Gonzamon, the Machitron, they have a lot of blockers, they have level, level 5 blocker also, they, uh, black had a lot of blockers, but black is not like popular at the moment because it's not good yet, at 1.5 it changed the thing. Um, we have um, the red package here, like Volcanic Roman is one of the most broken cards against you, it wipes your field down with 4000 dp or less Digimon, your Leomon not, but you have uh, always 4000 dp or less, and Greymon with security checks plus one, all Digimon with security more checks or red like, have you have a problem, but the rest of the deck like um, Omni Blue or other decks, when you don't have an auto draw draw any blockers, or must brick or playing hard cards, that when your opponent gives you a level 5 to play three rookies, and you're in, like, it's really good. Now we're coming to the deck list. We are playing four Upamon. You only need four Upamon. When attacking, you gain one draw. That's the only thing about it that you can uh, breed your Upamon, evolve into um, into a rookie, draw a card, get more card advantage, and move it out. We have a four Kra Amadillomon. It costs only two when you hard play it, and it had four KDP. It's good. Elecmon is just one not of the good ones. <laughs> yes, you, can, you can play Costi for two as well, it's really good, but he only has 3 KDP, but it's also good. You have the Gabumon to hard play that you can draw for 3 cost. Then we have our blocker for 4 cost. Blocker, when an opponent's Digimon attacks, attacks you, might suspend the Digimon to force the opponent to attack it instead. Yeah, this is the blocker effect, like, it blocks. <laughs> Obviously, 1k. You have the play 3 cost, 4k. Beermon, you have the Goblinmon with 2 play cursed with 3000 dp, you have the Mushroommon, that's a really good card because it only costs 2 and has 4k dp, like the Beermon costs 3, like you need this to evolve to an Upamon, or hard playing with the Gabumon, that costs 3, 3 is a little bit hard, but you need it. Then we have Tapiamon, on the Legion you draw a card, it's really good. We have Kudamon, while attacking if you have 4 or less cards and you hand trigger 1. The, all, the thing is about Rookie Rush, you play all the cards down, like you play all your hand sides down, and you have 2 or 1 hand cards, then you play Kudamon, and when you attack with him, then you can also draw a card, it's really good. So now, why we are playing Kudamon is because Leomon, when you evolve into Leomon, like you have an Elecmon, you evolve into Leomon, then you can swing, get 2 memory back, playing the Kudamon, you lost, uh, you get rid of 2 hand cards, draw, uh, draw 1 hand card, play the Kudamon, and then attacking again 1 draw, um, then you can draw and cycle into your deck, and he has 5k uh, DP. We're playing 4 Puppet Mons, um, I will cut this at 3 maybe. Um, it's really good, he's doing his job, he's to spend one of your opponent's Sigmon during your opponent's next unsuspend phase, none of your opponent's Sigmon can suspend, yet you can suspend the blockers with Flower Cannon and him, then you can get rid of all blockers and his opponent has no chance to winning or to have spent, only he's playing blue with the Garurumon with 6 cost is the only thing. Then you can play Hammerspark and more memory, and you can play the Flower Cannon. Like what I said, you can play things about you can change in the deck. You can play not this tie. Where's the tie? <laughs> yeah, here. You can play the tie. It costs only two. You can play it. You turn all your Digimon gets one thousand DP. Then you then your Leomon has six K. And you can trade the blockers and get two memory back. That's really really good. You can maybe play when if you like it uh, instead of the Elect one, the Gomamon, you get you the deletion one memory. But it's okay if you like the strategy. And you can play Volcanic Dramon. And your deck also like when you're cutting down Puppetman. But I would recognize playing the tie. You can play test. It's made really really much fun, it's really really cool, playing the tie, getting 1000 more GP, then maybe in the, the mirror match checking like for 4k, then you have 5k and your and your Amadillumon survives. <laughs> yeah, that's really really cool. Um, this deck is was uh, not this deck list, I guess, it's a little bit 
um, changed by my side, but like my favorite opinions. I play tested. I play a lot of versus Blue Omni. Blue Omni has a lot of problems because it has a bad matchup because the deck. You only have a bad, uh, a good matchup versus uh, Omni Blue, a bad matchup versus Green is not Green. Is okay, Green is 50-50, I guess. You have much options to play versus Green. Um, red, you have problem with when you're playing versus Red. Red getting popular, not so popular. Um, the percentage of Red is dropping down. Um, and yeah. That's all I want to say. We have the weaknesses. We talked about why you should play in this deck. You can test it because it's it's beginner friendly. Like you need don't need have to buy out money for like one Omnimon for one hundred for sixty seventy dollars. Like this is the whole deck. Like you can play the whole deck and you you can beat Omnimon like with with rookies. Like you over rushing your opponent with rookies. <laughs> what do you want more? Okay. So and again, don't forget to subscribe, to like. And to leave a comment what your favorite Digimon card of the year 2020 was, because the giveaway ends at Sunday, yeah, again, for you. We have the promotion pack for the first, for the second, the Walk Raymond Red, and for the third, the Metal Sutramon Art Art. Thank you everyone for watching my videos, for supporting me on my channel. We see you at Sunday, at Saturday, streaming the PPG tournament. Check it out, I leave a link down below for my Twitch uh, channel that you can watch me and interact with me and can ask me questions about, it's no problem. And it's Sunday, we see you, we see each other again at the PPG result. Yeah, at the PPG result when I have the deck list and I'm putting down the videos. Then we see at the analysis what deck topped at the Sunday. And have a nice day.